today we're going to cover what type of teacher are you? And are you a good fit for online teaching? I've been uh, teaching online for six years. Uh, some teachers, uh, they have a lot of props. Some teachers um, joke around a lot with the students. Um, some teachers are just, you know, normal teachers. They, they use their personality and to make a, a, a very good connection with the students. So, you know, when you're when you're deciding if you want to teach online or you are teaching online, it's, it's a good thing to think about what type of teacher are you? Because you're going to attract those students that are attracted to you. So I'll, I'll give you an example with me. I don't use a lot of props. I have three props for my class. I have um, an alligator. I have a panda and I have a monkey. So that's the only props I use for all my classes. I don't have props for each class. Uh, for me, that would, that would stress me out a lot. And um, I, I mostly use my personality to engage with the student. I ask my students lots of questions to really learn about them and what they like. So for the next class, you know, I know more about that student and all my long term students in the beginning of class. I asked them lots of questions about their life. You know, did they did you like Sam? Did you play basketball last weekend? What did you do? Uh, and, you know, during your field trip, things like that. I just remember all that information about my students, which is, you know, which it makes them feel like I really, you know, I'm really engaged in their uh, in their lives. And to me, that's how I make a connection with my students. I ask a lot of questions. You know, I know them. I know their dog's name, cat's name. I know their dad is 52 years old, right? <laughs> so I, I think that's important to really make that connection. Um, for me, it is. Other teachers want to sing a lot. If, if you have the little kids, you definitely need that, like three, four-year-olds. You need more animation, singing, props. But with most of my students, most of my students are, you know, seven years old all the way up to 15 years old. I don't need those props for those students, not the students that are attracted to me. So, you know, and, um, and, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for students that like my teaching style are attracted to me. So, so it makes it fun for both of us. There's no stress there at all for both of them, both of us. Um, yeah, and just use your natural personality really to make that connection with your students. You know, you just got to see what type of teacher you are. If you love props, right, then use props. I don't love props because then I got to make a whole bunch of them. When I was younger, I did that when I worked in public schools in South Korea. I had props for each class. I had so many. I was laminating like crazy, right? Uh, but now I, 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 I use my personality more. Back then, I really didn't. I didn't make connection with students, really. You know, it's a class of 26 students. And I just made it fun for the students. So, um, you know, I think it's very important to make it fun for the students, but do it on your own terms. You know, you don't, you know, you don't have to adjust everything for each class and each student. You should know your students, you know, after you teach them a while, you know them, you know what they like, you know uh, what they like to do with their friends or if they just like to hang out of the house and play, you know, play games, right? Oh, no, oh, he's playing games. And, that, and that's how you bring that stuff back in. What did you, like I'll say like to Matt, Matt, what did you do today? Oh, I played online games today. Oh, okay. Did you play online games with your friends today? No, I played online games by myself. So, you know, you just got to really get to know the students and, um, and really get to know their personality. But uh, as for a teacher, you know, I think it's always good to try some new things sometimes. Um, and I do. 
you know, I'll bring in some new things just to test it on certain types of students that I have and see if they like it. I do a lot of rhythm in my classroom. Um, so I don't really sing, I use rhythm. So if we're doing uh, vocabulary, this, that, these, those, and you see I'm using rhythm to, you know, get the students engaged and I'll go, this, that, these, those, 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 and then I'll go backwards with it, right? So just getting them to repeat, but in a fun way. So anytime you can do something in a fun way for the students and that really gets them engaged, you know, um, that's really good. And I actually learned that from one of my students. His name's Tom. He's from Beijing. I think this was like four years ago. He just naturally did it. I picked up on it and I can tell you right now, 99% of my students, if I do this, this, that, these, those, 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 they will repeat 99% of my students. So I know that works because I've used that on thousands and thousands of kids. So, you know, it, it's good, you know, watch your students. You might pick something up from your students that you can really use in your classroom. And that's what I do all the time. I, I try to see what the students are doing. And then I implement it and see if it works for the other students. And a lot of my um, stuff that I do in my classroom that my students love, I got from other students. <laughs> um, and it just, for me, it, that's how it really works. You know, really watching your students, you know, being really engaged with your students. And, um, and that's why I've had so many long-term students. So I'll give an example. So today, I don't have many classes today because my students have tests. So, but the students I do have today, they're all my long-term students. So if I go through a weekly schedule, I can tell you exactly, you know, I have 80 of my regular students and two new students. I just know because I've been teaching them for so long and then they know me and everything else, which, which is good, I think so. Um, for me, the key is really getting to know getting to know your students, really know their family, be really engaged in their life, um, instead of using a ton of props and just singing all the whole class period. Um, I don't use many cam um, because I, I live in the Philippines and if the internet slows down, it's, it means I'm gonna lose that class because my computer and everything else can't keep up with the slow, with the slow internet. Um, so I, I don't use anything like that or use props in my class. I just like this. This is my class right here. And the students love it. My students love my classes um, because they're engaging, right? They're engaging. So you just have to decide what type of teacher you are. If you love to use props, I know a lot of teachers do. Uh, I know many, many teachers that love to use ManyCam and other digital things in their classroom. And if that works for you, then you know, go with it. You know, you'll, you'll attract those type of students that love those things. So I think that's, you know, I think that's important. Go with what you naturally feel, right? If it feels really uncomfortable, then you know, I don't think you're going to implement it long term. So, and, and that's just how I do things in my classroom. But really, what I would do is just really think about it you know, do you want to make props for every class? Uh, do you want to do more singing? If you do, then bring in music into your class. You know, I like some of the lessons because they're singing in the beginning, right? I don't really sing because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a good singer, but I use rhythm in all of my classes. And um, my students love that. And they call me the singing teacher. Uh, this one parent said, oh, that's teacher Daniel's uh, rhythm. So, you know, that's what I've always used in my classes and it, and it works for me, you know. So just, just really sit down and think about what works for you and, and, and that might give you some new ideas and things you can bring in your classroom too. All right, I hope this was helpful. All right, I gotta go now. I got class in a few minutes. <laughs> All right, bye, see you later.